what's going on everybody so today i got another problem i got a 2020 freightliner cascadia now and uh i've got a few things i got to fix uh first off being the uh switch pod on the dash that has the emergency flasher or the hazard flasher in it uh so I thought I would make a video and take y'all through it and show you how easy it is to do. It's not that big of a deal. You just got to be careful popping a little panel off and that's pretty much it. All right, so that's the one right there. I got the key on. Nothing's happening. Uh, I, took, I took this out and cleaned everything as best as best i could out on the road when it went out the illumination went out in the switch and then it started being uh intermittent like sometimes you'd push it and it would come on sometimes it wouldn't and all that stuff but now it's just nothing it don't matter I tried kind of popping it sideways or whatever, nothing happens. So what we do is we take this out. First off, I don't know how your knobs are. They may have the little push buttons, minor screw on. And uh, remember how these go, don't get them mixed up. Pop those out. And then if you got anything in that little cubby right there, that's where we keep our ID and our fuel card, which is kind of a pain in the ass to get to, but oh well. Clean that cubby out. That way you just don't sling stuff all over the place. And uh, this whole cover, the gray part down here and this, this whole cover goes all the way over to right here. So this whole brown cover and this gray piece down here come off. Had to apologize for the mess in here. We just got home and ain't cleaned up. So you can take a flat tip screwdriver. I'm using a knife. But just kind of pop it up a little bit like that. And then just work your way around. Don't just grab it at the end and start snatching it off because you could break some of those little tabs. But just follow it on around and pop it off just like that. You'll want to unhook that. And then you'll see back here, you've got these plugs and stuff. So uh, these are just going to pull out that and that. And you'll be able to get to it. So let me get a little bit ahead with this and I'll show y'all what's going on. All right. So on the side, you got one of these little tabs. Oh, sorry about that. And if you look right there, you can see that little divot right there. You can stick a flat tip screwdriver in there and pop this out. You got one. One on this side, one on this side. And they just come, they just come right out. Just like that. You can see that little, you can see that little divot right there. Sorry, the lighting ain't good in here, but. You take both of those out. And then right here on the side, you can see that little tab. You push down on it. 
and there's one you hear it click it just went back so there's one right there and there's one right there you push in on both of those and this whole thing will slide out so let me do that right quick because that's a two-hand job and uh we'll go back from there all right so this is the back side of it i forgot to mention something you've got two four six you got eight screws you see them right here that you got to take out and you're going to need a a torx head this is a t8 t is in tom eight all right you got the screws got the screws out all right see that little cover right there comes off let me go ahead and pull this switch out right here and uh we'll go from there boy that thing's dirty This part is uh, $74 at Freightliner. And the reason it's so important, hang on, let me turn this around. The reason it's so important to change that out if you have a problem, I mean, if it's just one of your switches or whatnot, it's not that big a deal. I mean, but since it's the hazard flashers or emergency flashers, as people call them, if you get pulled into a scale and get a DOT inspection and they tell you to do your headlights, do your blinkers, do your flashers, and then your flashers don't work, there you go. You see the problem? You're probably going to get a ticket or something like that. It could be a fix-it ticket or whatever, but still yet, it's going to cause you a problem at a scale or a roadside inspection. And we don't need that. We got enough BS out there to deal with as it is, you know, with all the idiots out there watching movies and playing on their cell phone driving. I'm talking about truck drivers, not just people in the cars, but, uh, you know, we, we, we got too much stuff to deal with to let a $74 part and 15, 20, 30 minutes of your time, you know, to fix it, get, it, get us in trouble. So, uh, let alone with, you know, if you break down on the side of the road or something like that, you know, you have no way to alert people that there's a problem ahead. You know, we, we got enough people out there nowadays also that don't get over, truck drivers included. I see it every single day and night. You folks won't get over for somebody broke down on the shoulder, you know, and... It don't make any sense to me. Be courteous and get your ass over, Elaine, if you safely can, to give them people room. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to explain that, you know, why it was important to me to get this changed out. Because we go to California every week. And I, I just, I don't want a $74 part to end up causing me to get a ticket or something in California or anywhere else. So... That's why it's important to get this fixed. All right. So you can see I got this first one pulled loose. See that little tab right there on the top? You got one on the bottom also. Right there. You got to push down on those. It's best to use a flat tip screwdriver and just take your time and they slide right out the front see they just slide right out the front and then you'll transfer these over to your new one don't get them mixed up because you know things may be a little weird but uh i'm gonna keep mine exactly the same and uh and everything so pull one out clean it up a little bit go ahead and put it back in the new one 
okay? Just make it simple for yourself. When you go to put them back in, make sure your triangle is up like a triangle should be. Your little plugs are on the very bottom back there. This one came out of the very end. We're just gonna put it in there and click it into place, just like that. Very simple. And there's your first switch in. Now, I just gotta do the rest of them. So, I'm gonna do that and I'll get back to y'all here in a few. All right, so this is the new one. Got all the switches transferred over. This is the old one. We'll sit it over there. It's a mess in here. <laughs> but uh, we got it transferred over. Got to take the eight screws out and take this little back cover off. So I'm going to do that right quick and we'll get back at it. All right. I got it put back in. Got those two plugs in and that one in. So let's see if it works. There we go. Simple little fix. Didn't take very long at all. All right, so I'm gonna get all this wrapped back up and uh, get this video edited and get it uploaded. And this is, again, it's just something easy that uh, you can do yourself and not have to put your truck in the shop and have downtime or anything like that. Uh, so... I did want to show you right quick the uh, part number. So hang on just a second. Let me get this turned around. See right there the part numbers. So yeah, that gives you the part number there that you can uh, give to Freightliner or whoever you're going to get it from. Uh, they also sell them on uh, eBay. They're about the same price, $74, $75. Some of them were $80, $90. But this is on a 2020 Freightliner Cascadia. So, uh, again, I appreciate y'all watching. If you don't mind, just like and subscribe and maybe share the video. Uh, and don't forget to comment down below. I've, we've had a lot of crap going on for the past year and a half. I know I hadn't been answering questions like I generally have, and I apologize for that, but uh, we're back in the game, and, and uh, I'm going to try and get some videos out because there's a few other things that I've got to fix on here, and I'm kind of going to upgrade them a little bit. Anyway, if y'all got any questions or comments, uh, I'll, I'll answer them as best I can. And again, I appreciate it. Y'all be cool. Be safe out there. Don't forget, put your freaking phone away while you're driving. Don't be sitting there watching movies and weaving all over the road and stuff like that. There ain't no sense in that. That's selfish and inconsiderate. Very selfish and inconsiderate of everybody else around you. So, anyway. Peace out. Y'all be cool.